Um, of course, here for your, your good pal, Billy Joe Saunders, yes, of am. course. You know, we just talked there about the AJ fight. Just going to just go over those briefly. I don't want to keep you too long, but Billy Joe Saunders, long-time friend. Yes. Just done the face-to-face, -face, getting nice and spicy. You know, yes. um, Canelo Alvarez seems chilled, but the next few days are going to be interesting. Is that... Is that the route that you think, you know, do you need to unsettle these guys? You saw you do a great job of that with, with Vladimir Klitschko in Germany. You've got to take these guys outside of their comfort zones. We've seen a lot of fighters come almost thank them for the opportunity here. That's not really going to be the attitude of Billy Joe Saunders. No, we don't, we don't uh, pay homage to fighters. You know, they're just men with a pair of boxing gloves on. He's, he's a good fighter, but he's not no killer, not no animal. Just a boxing man with a pair of gloves on. Billy Joe's been boxing his whole life, 13 years. Fought his way up through from racism, prejudice, fought his way up from everything. He's still undefeated all these years later. This is his big time in the in the sun to shine. If he beats Canelo, he elevates from a two-time world champion at two different weights to one of the best British middleweights in the history of boxing, or if not one of the best middleweights of all times. You know, so it's all to play for. Um, Billy Joe needs a great dance partner like Canelo to bring the best of him out. He's not unbeatable. He's been broken. He's not a virgin anymore. Um, so, you know, he's already lost. He can lose again. Billy Joe's yet to taste defeat. Um, he's looking good in the gym. He's nice and relaxed. I think he played a, a good part this week, getting in Canelo's head a little bit. Canelo's been responding, calling us all pussies and stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting times. I'm here to support me old buddy. And uh, I'm quite confident he's going to win, for it's sure. going to be a great atmosphere, 70,000 people. I said in the interviews, I feel like that will help Billy. I think some people might crumble under that pressure. You know him well enough to think that you actually Definitely think that will bring the best out of him. Definitely not. You know, we don't... Uh, me and Billy Joe were like cut from the same cloth. We don't bother about crowds and where we are. Germany, America, wherever it may be. We go there and we fight the champions and, and take what's theirs. And then we sneak off back to England and see you in a bit, motherfuckers. Well, uh, I was lucky enough to be in your huge suite in Las Vegas with your tremendous Versace collection. Oh, yes. May I just add? Yes, you darling, know, and, yes. You know. And I did say, like, you get this fight done with AJ, I'm going to get you a, a gown and a shirt and a pair of slippers, a pair of loafers, yeah. Okay, so, well, uh, obviously, uh, I want to share the positivity of that with AJ. I know that there's been a lot of backwards and forwards, but... We're all on the same page. We're all working as hard as we can and fast as we can to get this made. I speak, you know, never speak on his behalf, but we speak on the side of AJ to say, this is the fight we want, nothing else. And I feel like you, you have the same mindset, you guys. Yeah, I can't wait to get the big dosser in the ring and give him a good hiding and uh, prove to the world what a fake he is and that there's only one dominant heavyweight champion and he goes by the name of the Gypsy King. Undefeated, undestructible, unbeatable. Never will lose a fight in the history of this sport, ever. We'll retire with the crown. I'm not lucky, I'm blessed. Do you think this is an easy fight for you? 100%. 100%. I cannot be beat by a fighter. A normal fighting man cannot beat the Gypsy King. The only person who can ever beat the Gypsy King is me, Tyson Fury. And I would be that motherfucker's downfall. But the Gypsy King is indestructible. Never, ever had problems. Never had mental health struggles. Never had anything. Tyson Fury's a flawed character. And the only man who can beat the Gypsy King is Tyson Fury. Or AJ, maybe. AJ, yeah. yeah. No? AJ couldn't lace my boots. Definitely not. I, I, listen. I, I, know, I know you're his promoter. No, no, I, I you believe... You have to say this. No, I believe you'll listen, win the fight. Listen, he and, will and not if, win the fight. Well, I believe you will. I, well, that's, isn't I that bet was, you. Well, I've got a lot of bets going. Well, I've got Darren know. Till, I've got yeah. Billy Joe Saunders, yeah. I've got all these people backing it. Yeah. At the end of the day... And you've got an uncle of mine as well, Tommy Frankham. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I've got all these people, I bet. I'll but take all bets, side bets with anybody out there, no problem. There's a lot on the line though, isn't it? I will mean, take all bets either as well. When you look at the sport, what is... Is this, is this the pinnacle for you, these two fights? You talk about the future. What is the future? Is it these two fights and then I'm out? Or how do you look at... Well, you say pinnacles and Everest and all that. Like, my Everest was when I beat Klitschko, 28th of November 2015 in Dusseldorf. That was my Everest. And then after that, it was just like, oh, well, it's fucking boxing. So what? And then it, it, it takes a good dance partner to get me juices flowing and get me turned on with the, uh, the game again. And then when I was fighting Wilder, after all the time out, and people thought, well, you know what? This guy can beat Tyson. He's had two, three years out the ring nearly. He hasn't been active. He's been fat as fuck. Um, and he's coming back after a long layoff. And is it possible to do? Even you, you was even I didn't one think of you'd people. do it. I didn't think you'd do it. I was. I remember I was with James DeGale. He was boxing in Luce and Butte. Yeah. And I thought you had absolutely no chance whatsoever. And I watched it on a laptop. And as the rounds went by, 
I just thought, he's got to get chinned in a minute. What's going on? So I give you those props and I give you the props. I, yeah. I didn't think you'd beat Wilder the first time. You did, you didn't get a decision. I didn't think you'd beat him the second time. You did. And I didn't just beat him the second time, though, no, did I? I took no. his soul and ate it. And I've still got his mojo in my pocket. Mm, but do you think, was that because you're, you know, obviously you're going to say, because you, but do you also think Deontay Wilder is overrated? Um, no, I think Deontay Wilder's the most fearsome puncher in the history of the sport. Um, I know people were going to say, oh, well, what, 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 what? But before I fought Wilder, he was a notified killer. Everyone was terrified of him. And he took a fat man from England with a bald head and big guts to go over to America in his own backyard on the whatever you want to say. It wasn't even A or B side. I was the fucking Z side. Yeah. Come over there, give him a good hiding in his own town. Yeah. And get up off the floor in round 12 in a miraculous recovery. Undertaker style. Undertaker style. This is what stories are made of. This, this will be a movie. Mark these words, the Tyson Fury story, a.k.a. the Gypsy King, that will be a blockbuster Hollywood movie one day. Um, so then to go and destroy him again, okay? You've got a man who can close distance quick. You've got a man with dynamite power. He ain't the best boxer in the world, but he makes up with it with being so dangerous and he can close the distance quick. Klitschko was one of them people who, who was a good skill box, good footwork, good everything about him. But like I always said, this is a young man's game and granddad days can't beat young men. No matter how good they think they are in the mind, they can never beat young active men. So he never really had a chance against me, Klitschko. It was a one-sided affair. It was what it was. And then... The old Joshua, listen, he's my British rival. I've been waiting for a British rival for so long. And they always get bumped off along the way somehow. Or something happens to him. They shit themselves and they don't want to fight me. I.e. like David Price, who was supposed to fight and he got knocked out by Tony Thompson. And then David A. He took a good look at the Gypsy King when I was dressed in white that day when you were there. Remember that? And his fucking arsehole fell out. I hope you don't take that wrong, David, but let's have the truth. And then... That was the first time I met you. You know what you said to me? What? You're a good-looking bastard, you are. And I've just I'll said it forget. again, haven't I? You're I still know. a good-looking bastard yeah. all the years later. Old, I'm getting old. Listen, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Well, let Thank me just you. finish. Let go me on, finish. Go on, go on. So then you've got your boy. You built him <laughs> Sorry, this up. You built, you you built him to. up to from scratch. You've done yeah. an absolutely fantastic job, by the way. Congratulations to you and your team and Matt Room and everybody. You've done an amazing job. You took a, uh, an amateur boxer and made him into a, a superstar boxer and the finished article. And it's just a shame that... He has to be in the same era, era as the Gypsy King. And when I say I will smash him to pieces and it won't be a tough fight, like I said, I was going to knock Wilder out in the first, in the second fight, and I did. I'm going to say it here again. I will cut Anthony Joshua down like a hot knife through cheese. Jeez, That's how easy it's going to be. Okay. That's how easy it's going to be. When he gets cracked with all their muscles right in the jaw, it's like getting a boiled egg with a split down the middle. It can't be repaired. He will go. It's going to be, I tell you what even punch it's going to be. I'll even give me game plan away. It'll be a check left hook straight to the temple. His legs will go and he'll fall on his face. He may get back up and I'll knock him out with the overhand right. Good night. Okay. Enough said. Okay. I think he stops you in nine rounds. Let's but see. this is what makes he, it so exciting, <clears throat> right? No, it's not exciting. He ain't got the minerals to fight me, I Anthony disagree. Joshua. The difference in me and him is there's only one difference, right? He's a great champion, two-time champion and all that. He's knocked out loads of people and whatever. But the real difference here in men is he's a businessman and I'm a fucking Spartan. <laughs> I don't care about money. I don't care about fame. I don't care about glory, belts, undisputed, being remembered. I care about knocking motherfuckers out. I'm a Spartan. I live to fight. I don't care about any other thing in boxing. I don't want to be a billionaire. Well, I don't, don't want to be a businessman. Yeah. I'm not interested. The only thing I love you say is that, a but fight. Yeah, but you love a pound note as well. You well, do. You, listen, you, I, I know, I know your no mantra. The only thing you got is memories, etc. But yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. pound notes are good. But you know, we've all got a few quid. What does it really matter? Mm. What's the difference in a rich man and a poor man? Tell me that. I agree. A mindset. Two arms, two legs, That's beating heart. And we're all bare bums in the shower at the end of the day. But one thing, right, you can have all the money in the world, like Steve Jobs said, he was a billionaire, he was the founder of Apple. But what can you really take with you? Nothing. Memories. Everything on this world will stay here. But you know what? They've been talking about me in a thousand years. The Gypsy King from England. <laughs> I can't wait for this build up. We have to make this fight. You need to make your man get some Listen, fucking talking he's, lessons. He's, he's, <laughs> don't worry, he's in. We're all in. Listen, genuinely, I hope we get this done and announced soon. To it, because this is going to be a great yeah. build up. And, you know, whoever wins, we back, obviously, I believe our guy, you, but, but 
ultimately two British World Heavyweight Champions for the Undisputed it's Heavyweight Champions. No, and it will never be done again. It's history in the making. Good luck, mate. God bless you. Cheers.